Okay, ramp 24, down four inches. Looks like a dog tag. Let me see if I can see what year it is. New York. Okay, give me a second to clean that up. Hold on. Back. Okay, I couldn't get it clean enough to see the year, but we'll clean that up later and figure it out. I'm pretty sure it's a dog tag. Probably rabies. I don't think it's that old. All right, moving on. I found something like this before. This one's folded over. It was kind of like a watering can, but I think it has to do with a muffler on a lawnmower. But again, not 100% sure. Pretty cool though. Try to get some of that dirt out. it up and got the dirt out but that's what I'm guessing it is is part of a lawnmower or something like that it's cool though whatever it is ramp 1617 on the Knox this rang up a 14 it was in the same hole looks like it has kind of like the same design so maybe that's the clip that held it in place that's definitely different no idea though if you know It'd be great to tell me. <laughs> All right, moving on. I don't know what this is. It rang up in 1819. Maybe some type of a fuse thing? I don't know, probably a fuse of some type for what I don't know, or how old I don't know. But that's pretty cool. Okay, I'm moving on. These in a while, just a regular 50 cent piece. Not silver, 72. But yeah, that's welcome. Nice, I haven't found one in a very long time. I think it's been about a year. And I've never found a silver one. Rang up 32 on the Knox. Sweet, if there's anything else in there. <laughs> Try turning it on, it works so much better when it's on. Nope, don't hear anything else. It was pretty jumpy though, but it was loud and clear. All right, moving on, just a nickel. Nothing old. Moving on, oh, one of those pin back things. It sounds so good, 11, 12. Moving on, 17, there was a nail in the hole and then this. Wonder if that's part of a croto bell. Kind of shaped like one. Looks like it's copper. Wonder if the rest is in there. No. That was cool though. I found an intact crotal bell once, but only once. I've never found another one since. So that would be cool if it was. Obviously the rest is gone. That's pretty cool though. Okay, moving on. About a piece of a can and fortunately a little nickel too. Nothing old. Ramp at 11, 12. Got a key. Haven't found a key in a while. Doesn't look old. Ace. But it's a key, and it? like I said, it's been a while since I found a key. Yeah, looks like that's it. Let's turn this on to be safe. It's pretty high and jumpy, so I'm just wondering if there's another. Whoop. No, I don't know what that is. Part of a nail or a screw. That's why it was jumpy. That and the key together. Okay, moving on. It's a 
1617, a piece of sunglass or some other glass <laughs> is in there. Okay. I don't think there's anything else in there. We'll give it a quick swing just to be sure. But I'm sure there isn't. Nope. Nope, still 1920 in there. So we'll see if we can find it. Might as well. Could be a penny. Sometimes it just acts up for no reason. It's probably just a penny, so I'm gonna go. A big old hunk of metal. Lead, maybe. That's it. Moving on. We've had a pull tab and a nickel. Not an old one, or at least not a war one. So, moving on. I don't know what it is, but it isn't penny and it isn't a dime. Ring up a 23. By the way, um, you may have noticed I'm not at that other location anymore. I'm at a curb now. I was asked to move on from the other location, so now I'm at a curb. Anyway, both locations were fine. <laughs> Moving on. Not my quarter, silver or otherwise. First, I found this thing, which is probably what rang up like the quarter, and then these two other little nails or nail pieces down in the same hole along the curb. All right, I'm gonna keep the round thing, but the rest is going in the junker pile. Keep it up. <laughs> All right, moving on. Wow, what the heck is that? That is awesome. Looks like some type of a key. Ring up like a dime, I believe. Let me check it out again. I don't remember. No, Penny, I think it was a 26. <laughs> 28, 29, and 30. No idea what that is. Let me see if there's anything else in the hole. That is really cool. It looks like some kind of a key. I have no idea what that is, and I've never found anything like it. I haven't seen anyone find anything like it either. end here. Oh, it's got writing on it too. Let's see what it says. Huh. What the heck is that? Is it upside down, maybe? No. I N H I N H O U G H I N Hogan? Hogan? Whoops. No idea. That is so cool. I wonder if it's like a clock winder or something. say New York? Oh, it does say. It says New York on one side. But we'll definitely have to look this up and see what the heck that is. New York. Some kind of a key, I think. Hoogan. If anyone has any idea what this cool thing might be, let me know. Oh, it looks like I might have already broke a piece off, so I'm going to be more careful. That's just so cool. No idea. Very cool. Okay, moving on. Got all excited, thought I found silver because of the color there. That is not silver. It's a penny. 
Maybe it's one of those steel pennies because I've never seen a penny come out of the ground white before. It's a memorial too. I don't know why it's white. But there you go. <laughs> Alrighty, my white penny. That's different. That's never happened before. But boy, did that fool me. I haven't had silver in so long. Okay, moving Three on. up at 17. I think it's probably a piece of car trim. Maybe. Kind of golden in color. Pretty. But all flaky. I don't know for sure, but that's what it looks like to me. Possibly. Okay, if you know, please comment below. Moving on. All right, let's bring up 17. No idea what that is. I can see it's textured. Oh, maybe it was a part of a bell or something, like a bicycle bell. Oh, you know what? It's probably, it's probably a screen from a watering can. That's what I'm guessing, I don't really know. Or maybe a muffler cover from a lawnmower. No idea, but it's cool. Okay, moving on, the same hole. There's more down here. Oh, you know what? I think it's one of those old light bulbs light bulbs, old-fashioned light bulbs, maybe from the street lamp. So I found these before out by the high school. Yeah, it's an old light bulb type thing. Cool. Moving on. 17. Whoops, where'd it go? <laughs> it's a ring, but not the kind I'm looking for. <clears throat> Looks like it might have had some fancy design on it. It's a little bumps all the way around it. Cool. All right, there might be other stuff in here. It had all kinds of different numbers, but it was probably just because it's this rusty thing. Yeah, I think that was it. Okay, moving on to the nickel. All right. Didn't even suspect it would be in silver, but I had to check anyway. It's like a 1961. Very good year indeed. Moving on. Wrap up. I found this laying in the grass. Pink's my favorite color, so I thought I'd use it. Yeah, I'll be right back. I still don't know what that stuff is. Can't get a year on that. Probably not too old. A close up of that. H O U C H I N, I'm guessing. Ran across my buddies, Clark and his wife, Sandy. They ride bicycles through town and they seem to run across me at curb strips all the time, different curb strips. I was surprised to see them where I was because I was on the other side of town and they showed up. <laughs> anyway, they're gonna check out my channel to see what this is. Sandy said it might be a jailer's key, which kind of looks like it might be. Clark says it's definitely some type of a key. This broke since I found it. It was solid when I did find it, probably from all the banging I did to it, unfortunately. So that's too bad, but it's still pretty cool. That's probably what it's going to be. Looks like 1974. So this is an old one. Another sad day because you know that dog's not around either. Oh well. <laughs> 